Hey, so this is part two of my setting up the Pi for development tutorials. So in this video, we'll talk about setting up the Pi so that we can connect to it via SSH from our main computer. So the first thing you want to do is open the terminal on your Pi. And we need to change the SSH enabled settings, which you can do by typing sudo raspi-config and use the down and up arrow keys to navigate the menu and find advanced options and hit enter and again using the down arrow keys go to ssh and hit enter would you like the ssh server to be enabled hit enter for yes and ok and simply hit escape to leave the menu at this point you need to reboot so normal way you do it I'm not going to do it now because my SSH was already enabled, so I don't need to. Okay, so now that we have SSH enabled on our Pi, we need to find out our IP address. You can do it simply by typing ifconfig. So you can see here the IP address. Alternatively, you can use the internet connection status at the top. You just ignore the dash 24. So here you can see that my IP address on my Pi is 192.168.0.11 I'm connected via Ethernet um, I did use wireless for a while but I found the connection to be really unreliable Sometimes it would connect when I started up the Pi and just sometimes it never did Ok so now that we have our SSH set up we're ready to connect to it So on your Mac if you just open up the terminal Make this full screen and type ssh the name of the user on the Pi you want to connect as at and the IP address that we saw earlier just that hit enter and the password you can actually change your password in preferences raspberry Pi configuration and here but if you're like me and you haven't changed the default password, it'll default to Raspberry. And there we are, we're connected to our Pi via SSH. So SSH isn't built into Windows by default. If we want to connect to our Pi, we need to download a program called Putty. I'll put the link to this website in the description. Um, it's really easy, just click putty.exe goes to your downloads folder no need to install it, just comes straight up so in here we need to type in the IP address of the Pi click open it'll ask you to trust it, just hit yes and now we want to log in as the user Pi and the password raspberry and we're in So give this channel a subscribe and the video a like if you want to see more Pi related videos. I am also a game developer in my spare time and will get around to posting some game development videos in the near future. But as for now in the next video we'll talk about how to set up Synergy so you can use your main computer's keyboard and mouse on both the Raspberry Pi and the computer itself.